name is Afiang Bassi. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and poet. Afiang Bassi means God's moon in the Nigerian language of Efik, where my family is from. And as such, I feel like I'm called to be a reflection of my creator's light in all that I do. So as I sing, as I compose, as I dance, and even as I walk down the street, I'm thinking about how I can be a representation of that name that I have been given. I've been working on this project for a long time. You know, I've been singing and writing songs since a child, but this particular project and the songs that are on this album, the oldest of them I actually wrote in 2005. So you can imagine something being in the oven for that long, baking and, and marinating and feeling like, you know, finally, finally it's out, finally I get to share this with the world. And I knew that this was the right time because it was around the time that I decided to actually go forward with this album that I got introduced to some of the musical collaborators and everything just began to fall into place in a beautiful way. And so the fact that it took as long as it did, it's just a testament to the importance of perseverance, the importance of having faith, and the importance of understanding that in the right time and season, things do come together. I was thinking about what to name it, whether to name it after one of the songs or whether to name it after a, a moment that I had in my life, but I decided to self-title it Afiang Bassi because I feel like it's such a, a pure and holistic representation of who I am as an individual and who I am as an artist. On this particular project and throughout my musical career, I've had collaborators from all over the world. I mean, Ivory Coast, Mali, Morocco, just all over the place. And I love the opportunity that I have to, um, to present that richness in what I do. Owo Iba Meita is an adaptation of a traditional epic chorus. And the song is basically saying it's better to have two or three people around you that have love that you can really trust than to have like 50,000 people whose motives and whose love for you you're unsure of. And I really like this song because I sing in Efik and I also sing in English on the chorus so people from either culture can understand where I'm coming from and can understand what it means for me to fuse my cultures together. Weatherman, Weatherman, it's one of my signature songs. I wrote it a long time ago. The song is basically saying, you know, that it's God that decides when it's gonna rain anyway. No matter what we try to do as human beings to manipulate, construct, to have control over situations, there are some things that we just can't control and we just have to, to roll with it. Another song that really means a lot to me is Conclusion. I really like Conclusion because it's my foray into Afrobeat, paying homage to Fela Kuti, who's an influence of mine. And conclusion speaks to the tendency that we have as people to, to jump to conclusions before we know the fullness of a situation. Maybe we half hear something or maybe we see a little peek of something and we determine that because of what we saw or what we heard that this is what's going on. And lots of the times when we do that, we're wrong. Legitimate Child is one of my most important songs because it affirms the personhood and the value and the worth of every human being no matter the circumstance of their birth, no matter what they have or do not have, no matter what they did or, or didn't do, we are all legitimate in the eyes of our Creator. I am blessed to come from a very supportive and very loving Nigerian family. And without them, I couldn't have accomplished any of the things that I've accomplished and certainly couldn't have made such a beautiful album. Their support, their love, their critiques, their encouragement when I wanted to give up it was just invaluable. And I feel like that, that passion and that dedication that they gave me, you can really hear it in the album, especially as you think about the fact that I sing in my native language of Epic, as well as English. I sing in some pidgin English. So Nigeria, that culture and that influence is all over this project. Inspiration for me is important because it undergirds everything that I do. You know, what, what causes my spirit to move, what stirs me. It's the various and, and diverse set of musicians that I've listened to over my life. You know, African music, soul, jazz, R&B, gospel, the lyrics, the melodies, the rhythms, and the beats that are within me, that I seek to emanate as I make my music. I'm also inspired by my family, by my friends, by their life experiences, 
by my own strengths and weaknesses, um, I am able to construct stories that speak to humanity and speak to the things that we go through. I feel like as an artist, I have the opportunity and the, the charge to do good with my music. Music has so much power. And for me, I want to inspire people. I want to encourage them. I want to cause them to think about the world around them and who they are and who they want to be. And hopefully, if in listening to my music, someone will reconcile with someone that they love or someone will see themselves in the fullness of the purpose that God has created them to walk in. Um, if someone will just be entertained and, and want to dance and move around a bit. If someone will be open to another culture and another way of seeing things, I feel that I've accomplished something beautiful and that I've um, done honor to the gift that God has given me.